Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today's video we're going to explore RGB fusion. So I'm going to kind of go into some of the things I've attempted to get it to work. Some things that may work for you, some things that may not, maybe none of it will. But we're going to go in, I'm going to show you what I did and determine is it broken? Does it work? Does it not work? I mean, ultimately, the answer is that it does work, but it's got issues. So we're going to explore some of the things I've done to try and fix it. And we're going to have a look and see, um, was it successful? Or you give me your feedback and tell me how you've uh, gone about dealing with RGB fusion. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Here we go. Okay, so going into RGB fusion, um, I had to use the app centers because I got fed up with it at one point and deleted it and this was not there, but it's sitting here. So I clicked that. It's still taking like 20 years to load up. So it didn't work. My first little attempt, I'll show you what I did. Okay, so I took these files, which were originally GV LED LIB and MSLO32 and I renamed them. So I'm going to show you where I found those at. So you're going to go into your file explorer, go down to your program files, go to Gigabyte, and in here you will find RGB Fusion. So when you click on that, these files are in here. So we're going to find the first one, which is the GV. There we go. So right there. So that's what I renamed it to. And it did not work. So we're going to try one more thing that some people are saying. So those two files up here, mslo32.dll and gvledlib.dll, rename them. That by itself did not work. So the other thing that I've seen that I found out is some people are saying take the ATI tool and just simply drag it to the desktop. And say continue. And it's there instead of in here. Now, I don't know if that'll work. We'll find out. So let's close it down. It seems a little ridiculous that that would actually work, but crazier things have happened. Okay, so we renamed these two files. We took the ATI tool out of the RGB Fusion folder and that didn't work none of them it does load up a bit faster than it did before but to me that's not good enough so we're going to go and we're going to get a previous version because apparently version 2.0 is not that great we're going to go grab 1.0 and i'm going to install that and see if that helps that's what the next plan of action is so we're going to go into Google and up here we're going to type in the address. Okay, so you can see right there what I'm typing in. Okay, drivers.softpedia.com slash download tag slash RGB fusion. So we're going to hit that and it's going to take us to this page. And what we want to pick the one that's most current. Okay, so we're just going to download it. You can see lots of people are doing the same thing. Again, don't worry about what motherboard it says it's downloading to. As long as it's a gigabyte motherboard, it will work. And again, it says your download should start automatically in a few seconds. And it's right down in the bottom corner down here and it's going to take a little bit it is 81.4 megabytes so depending on your speed shouldn't take too long and then once it's all done and this goes all the way around you're just going to click on that and you're going to follow the prompts to install it over right here in the corner just click on it it's going to open up Double click the folder to open it and it's going to ask you to unpack it. 
when you go in here, click on the extract all. It's going to ask you, so you can choose your own location or you can just go ahead with letting it go into the downloads and click on extract. So once you've done this, you've, once you've unpacked it and said yes, it doesn't appear to do anything. However, let's go and see if we can find the application. So if we go to our windows, that application should be here somewhere. So let's see if we can find it. So under AORUS, has RGB Fusion 2.0. Let's see what happens. So it came up right away. Now I didn't have that in there before. So even though I did the 1.0 utility, it does seem to have uh, brought up the RGB Fusion. So now we're going to wait and see if it actually fixes it or not. So after trying everything else, I completely uninstalled RGB Fusion, any instance of RGB anything on this system. And now I've gone into Gigabyte, I'm downloading the RGB Fusion 2.0 utility downward, download, and I'm going to reinstall in the hopes that maybe that might fix the issue. We will find out. Okay, so I've got the new software RGB Fusion, you see it on the upper left, but it takes anywhere up to about pretty close to a full minute to open up the software. It does work now, um, it is a little bit faster. Uh, I'm not getting the same system crashes I was getting before, so it did work, but it shouldn't be so long to start up, um, but otherwise I'm happy with the conclusion of it. And one, another thing I wanted to show you is I use the RGB Fusion. You can see it highlighted here. When I click on that one, I use the setup to make sure it installed without causing me any problems. I did not use the utility or like the two different utility ones there. I didn't use those at all. So just in case you're wondering. So one more thing I did want to show you though was I've got this color here. Now one of the things that used to happen as soon as you go to close it up here you get the message so let's just close it and now it doesn't give me that message that says it can't save when I close it I'm going to show you the color here first so you can see it is the light blue I chose all right so nice light blue all right everybody so conclusion is the first step didn't work although it did make some help so maybe it was a comb combined uh, first, second, and third steps that ultimately made it work. Um, but the first step didn't work for me. Neither did the second one. Finally, I got fed up, took everything off, reinstalled from the manufacturer's website. The I downloaded the RGB Fusion 2.0 again. That was uh, the utility for my particular motherboard and I suggest you do the same for yours. Download that, reinstall it, make sure you take everything else off first, and then go ahead and hopefully it will work for you too. Okay? Uh, I still have some little quirks and sometimes there's some little uh, hiccups and sometimes it just takes a long time to load and I don't know why. Because uh, that shouldn't happen. Really, you should be able to click on it like any other program. It should open up and it's good to go. So hopefully one of these might help you. Maybe none of them will. I don't know. There's been so many issues with RGB Fusion. It's hard to say. But at least this is an attempt to try and help you. So anyway, if you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future notifications. If you're new here, think about subscribing. And ultimately, thank you for watching. Take care.